Does your Class C RV really need slide outs? Well, I'm sitting inside our Class C RV and there are no slide outs, no maintenance, no problems, no leaks, no nothing. Stick around, we're gonna review some awesome Class C RVs without slide outs. This Class C RV is the Gulfstream Conquest model number 6237LE. It measures in at just 24 feet long. When you first walk into this RV, it feels really nice and big, even though it doesn't have any slide outs. The first thing you'll notice is the dinette straight ahead. And then on the left-hand side, you have the whole kitchen area. But first, you have the driver's cab area. And above that, you have the over cab sleeping area. Now this can sleep two adults very, very easily. You'll notice you have a window on one side with USB ports up above. Nice amount of lighting up here. And then on the other side, you can mount a TV over here because you have a receptacle and cable hookups there as well. The dinette area in here can easily seat four people and it's got four seat belts too. And the table can drop down and this can sleep, I would say one smaller adult, maybe two kids. Over top of the dinette table, you have a nice big window. And then above that, you've got plenty of storage overhead. They even took the time to build in electrical receptacle and USB ports above the dinette. It's kind of an odd area, but if you need to charge things up, at least you have some ports very nearby to do so. The kitchen area is a nice inline kitchen setup. You'll notice, first of all, you have this big, round, deep, single bowl sink, and you've got a nice gooseneck faucet overhead. Next to that, You've got a three burner range and an oven down below. And then next to that, you've got plenty of storage underneath of your kitchen sink. You also have a little flip out drawer for sponges and things like that. Now over top of the kitchen sink, you have a nice big cabinet here with a shelf built in the middle. So you have plenty of storage up top. And then you've got a built in microwave oven. Just next to that, you've got a separate freezer and refrigerator. This happens to be a 12 volt style refrigerator. Now, just ac across from the refrigerator and behind the dinette, you have a very large wardrobe closet that's built in here. In fact, it's so tall that you could hang items in here and still store things below. And then in addition to that, you've got a couple of very large, fully extendable pull out drawers for extra storage. Now in the back corner of this RV, it's got a corner bed and um, it's a 60 by 74 queen. So it's a bit of a short queen, but it's still 60 inches wide. And you know, that works out pretty well. You'll also notice that you have two large windows in the back, both of them open with screens so you can get some nice airflow back here. Also, you've got four cabinets up above for ample storage, as well as lighting below the cabinets. And up near the headboard, you have a electrical receptacle and two USB ports. Here I am standing in the shower as usual, and I'm 5'11 tall. There's probably a good seven inches above my head. So if you're 6'6 six, six or under, you will be fine inside this shower. There's plenty of room inside of here. I like the design of the walls in here. It's kind of a fake tile look, but it looks really nice. And you'll notice the shelves behind me that are built in for your shampoo or soap. It also has a retractable shower door, which I really like because it keeps a curtain or something like that from blowing in on you. The retractable shower door just stays very nice and steady. Just outside the shower, there is no medicine cabinet, just a mirror on the wall. It's got a very small vanity sink, and then there's some storage down below the vanity. Once you're on the commode in here, uh, there's very little elbow space. It does not pass the elbow test at all, but there's enough room ahead of you that you really don't feel very cramped in here at all. This Class C RV with no slide outs is the Coachman Leprechaun model number 220XG and it measures in at 24 feet 3 inches long. When you first walk into this RV, even though it has no slides, it feels really big and wide in here. You'll notice you have your dinette straight ahead, kitchen area to the left, and then the driver's area up front. Now it's got a classic over cab like all Class C's have where this 
padding can flip over into place. Two people could sleep up here very, very comfortably. You've got a skylight up above and a TV over here on a swing out arm so you can see it not only from the overcab bed, but also from the dinette area as well. Now, the dinette area actually feels much bigger in this RV than most dinettes because this section of the dinette closest to the driver's seat is not here. And the reason for that is they got rid of it. And what they did is they made this little pull out section and they have a separate cushion for it. And so this is how you would extend your dinette into a full U-shaped dinette. In the meantime, it just serves as an, whoops, as an L-shaped dinette. And therefore it makes it feel a little bit bigger in here. And I know in our class CRV, we have a full-time U-shaped dinette and I have to cut out part of the dinette behind my chair to be able to recline back far enough. So this is a really great setup. In addition to being able to pull it out and make it into a U-shaped dinette, once you've done that, you can drop the table down and then this can serve as another sleeping area. It's definitely long enough for an adult to be able to sleep here and then maybe two kids could also sleep here as well. Over top of the dinette area, you have a nice big dinette window. And over top of that, you have these storage doors with really nice glass inset and a little bit of a smoky inset in the middle. But that's a really large storage area up top. So you can stow away plenty of items. Above the kitchen sink, you've got a really nice window. Love the fact that there's window right over top of the kitchen sink. And then over that, another really big storage cabinet above. And then to the right of that, you have a standard microwave oven and a little bit of storage up above that as well. Now, right across from the microwave oven and the cooktop is where the refrigerator is located. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, but it's got a really big freezer and a really nice big refrigerator area. So plenty of room for all your cold storage needs. And there's a little drawer down below under the refrigerator, just gives you a little bit extra storage there too. Now, as we move to the back of this RV, this is one of the coolest parts of this RV, I think. And that is, this has a queen size bed back here, but you'll notice there's a door in the back of the RV. And the best feature that this RV has is that you can take this bed, flip it up, it'll clip into place, and then it's even got D-rings on the floor in here. And this is a perfect place where you can stow away electric bikes, bicycles. I don't really think you'd get an ATV or anything like that in here, but you could certainly get your bikes or electric bikes in here. It's a great way to stow things and make multiple use of this space because you really don't need it to be a bed 24 hours a day. So pretty cool feature. Now, in addition to that, there's a nice window back here. There's also a cabinet here on the upper side and it's really large and deep so you can store away all of your clothes. Right across from the bed area and just beyond the kitchen, you've got a really nice big wardrobe closet here. You can hang items from that and then you have another drawer down below for more storage. And finally, here I am in the bathroom which is where I always end up in the shower. Over my head, there's at least 12 inches of space. I'm 5'11", so you could be seven feet tall and stand up just fine in this shower. It's got a really nice shower curtain that's on a track and the track loops out away from the shower. So when you close the shower curtain, it pulls the curtain out away from you, which is a very good thing. And there's a decent amount of space inside this shower stall. Just outside the shower stall, there's a mirror on the wall, a little vanity countertop and sink and then some space underneath for your storage needs. And just past the vanity, there's a nice corner style storage cabinet in here. And then of course you have your commode. Now when you're sitting on the commode and the door is shut, you know, your elbow space on the right side will be limited. On the left side, you are good. This Class C RV is the Thor Chateau 22E model and it measures in at just 24 feet long. Now when you first walk into this Class C motorhome, you walk right into the kitchen and dinette area, which also serves as your living area. Now you'll notice to my right though, you do have a classic over cab that you'll see in a Class C RV. And this is a big sleeping area. It's about eight feet wide and almost 60 inches deep. So there's plenty of room up here where two people can actually sleep. And as you can see, 
if you have a lot of boxes to store, you can store a lot of those up here too. And actually in our RV, we do that. We use this area as a big storage area while we travel around. And when we bring the grandkids camping, they can sleep up here too. So it works out really great. You'll also notice up here, there's a big TV mounted on a swing arm. I can't really pull it out right now, but it's perfect for viewing if someone's sleeping up here in the over cab, or you can swing it out so that you can view it from the dinette area. Speaking of the dinette, you'll notice that this dinette can easily seat four people. It's very, very nice and comfy, very roomy, and the table drops down and it does create another sleeping space. So you could get one adult or probably two kids, two smaller kids sleeping in this area. You'll also notice underneath of one of the benches, there's a storage drawer that pulls out. So that's very nice and convenient. And of course, over top of the dinette, it's got a nice big dinette window so you can see outside while you're sitting here eating or sipping your coffee in the morning. And then over top, it's got a lot of storage space. Now the kitchen in this Class C RV is what we call an inline kitchen. And by that, I mean everything's in line from the sink to the refrigerator. Starting at the sink end, the sink itself has a smaller size single bowl sink in here. It's got a nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. Sink's a little small for my liking. If you're doing dishes and stuff, I'd have water everywhere in here and Susan would be really mad at me. But anyway, next to that, you've got a three burner cooktop. And below that, it does come with a real, uh, real oven. So if you wanna cook a pizza, you certainly can. And then below that, they have this neat drawer that goes with the rest of the motif, but it's actually a pots and pans drawer that you can pull out. And then of course, next to that, you've got a bank of drawers here for all your kitchen utensils and all that good stuff. Now up top, we have, you know, nice cabinetry. They've got this glass inlay door, but there are a good amount, there's a good amount of storage space. And one thing I really like is the adjustable shelf. A lot of these, a lot of RVs just have a shelf built in, but you can see this one you can adjust up and down, which is a really nice feature. Then we have a standard microwave oven and a little bit of storage up above that too. And then of course, next to all this, you have your refrigerator with a separate freezer and that's a very good size freezer and refrigerator. You should be able to get plenty of cold storage in there. Just below the refrigerator, they have it set up so you can keep your trash can in here. You could use it for other storage, but you do have that option as well. Now, right across from the refrigerator area, you have a really big wardrobe closet here. And this is where the ladder stows away so that you can get up into the bunk in the over cab area. This is a really nice size wardrobe uh, cabinet. And then below that, you have a pull out drawer for some extra storage. Now the bed in this Class C RV is in the back corner, which some folks really don't like because it's very hard to make the bed. And if one partner's in bed and has to get out, you know, you've got to climb out towards the front or you know, bottom end of the bed. It's a little bit inconvenient. We have the same setup in our RV. We're pretty used to it, but uh, a lot, we hear from a lot of folks, they don't like the corner bed setup. Now, what they did in this model is they've taken this and turned it into a full-size bed. It's 54 inches wide and it is about 80 inches long, which is great. And it's got what's called a corner cut mattress in here. So they cut this corner off the end of the mattress to create a better walkway to be able to get to the bathroom, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So the other thing they did is instead of putting a queen in here, which would be 60 inches wide, they cut it down to 54, which allows them to make the bathroom a little wider, which is a great layout. And we'll, you'll see why when we go in the bathroom in just a second. Now up top here, you'll notice that there's also plenty of storage cabinets. There's also some cubbies here that have USB ports in them so you can charge your cell phones. And there's also a couple of windows so you, get a nice, you can get a nice breeze in here or just have plenty of light coming in. Now here I am in the back bathroom and this bathroom actually feels really nice in here. And like I mentioned earlier, the bed is only 54 inches wide so you gain an extra six inches in the bathroom. Uh, the shower itself inside the skylight area is about 
six feet, seven inches. So for you taller guys, you'll be able to fit in this shower very, very comfortably. It does come with a shower curtain. I wish it had some sort of a retractable door, but a shower curtain will certainly suffice. You'll also notice out here, you've got a nice size medicine cabinet, a good size vanity sink, a little bit of countertop space around it, and then some storage down below. And then when you're sitting on the commode in here, you know, it feels pretty comfortable because you have plenty of room in front of you, but with the door shut, you know, it's really not going to pass the elbow test. That is for sure. Want to see even more Class C RVs with no slide outs? Well, check out our video called Five Class C RVs with no slides, and you'll see some amazing models with no slide outs, no maintenance, no leaks, and we'll see you in the next video.